All right, and we are back with Salud and Robert Gardner. We're going to do a tequila review of Cimarron. By the way, I just thought about this. There is a double R, but I don't see that little mark above it. So does it mean I Cimarron? Do I roll my R's or no? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Uh, the tequila itself, I think of this bottle fondly. Um, you can also see that I, uh, I drank quite a bit of it, <laughs> which means I just saved enough to be able to uh, do the review. I want to do a tasting of this, and then we'll talk about uh, what's on the website br briefly. I found the website at tequilania.com. Uh, you can check out the little bit of information they've got. I was going to scroll through this briefly just to, uh, to see. And I always think this is amazing because they've got these additional bottles that I've never, you know, I've never seen. These are all Nuestros tequilas, which I guess is just from the same uh, facility. And then there's the Cimarron Blanco. Uh, let's see. So I'm assuming that exportacion means this is the one that's for export. They might be making it slightly differently uh, in Mexico itself. Little bit of information. I like that they at least, you know, have information on the website. What is Nosotros specifically? Some of it is in Spanish, which I can't currently read. Always interesting to try to see what I can find. Let me go through this real quick. Does it play? Just the fields there. Certainly lovely. 140 años de history. So all of these uh, different bottles, every time I go to these websites, I'm aware of the fact that when I'm going to Total Wine and More to buy tequila, I'm not actually seeing everything that's available in the market. So it's like, it's so much more broad and diverse. What I really can't figure out is what would it look like in Mexico when you go down to the local bar, the local liquor store, how many different kinds of like local, I mean, very hyper local mezcal, they're not even exporting mezcal, tequila. I have no idea. None. Um, I know that the more I have, the more I like, and the more I drink it, the more I approve and the more I want. And I want to try different uh, flavor profiles. Let's go ahead and uh, crack this open and give it a pour. I'm going to give myself just enough to get a good flavor, just a good hork off of it, just to try it out. Um, I did like the bottle and its uh, simplicity. I've talked about this before, but uh, it had this little uh, plastic flange at the top. I really like these. Um, if you're a tequila maker and you listen to these reviews, I, I really think this is a nice touch because it doesn't dribble as much. I don't personally care whether it's got a plastic cap or a cork. Um, I think like the Fortaleza that I've had uh, has the cork and it's sort of nice, you know, it has like a different feel, but for just daily use, I don't have any issue with the plastic cap. I'm, I'm more interested in the tequila itself than I am the bottle, but I also like that this came in a liter. Why? Because, well, I like 25% more tequila in a single bottle. Let's give it a smell rich um i almost want to say musky um uh sweet sort of agave roasted uh very ro robust nose now i do not know this because i've not had it but i imagine when this scrolls back around you'll see this 
when I said it, you know, smelled like roasted agave. Those are the agave in the fields. That's a blue agave, of course. That roasted pina, that is, a, I'm assuming, the, the note that I'm getting, that very roasted uh, flavor profile. There are hints of um, bubblegum. Um, I told a friend it's, it's a hubba bubba is what it reminds me of. Now, this is a completely additive free tequila. Um, I did check that on tequilamatchmaker.com. If you haven't checked that out, you can uh, check that out, by the way. Uh, I'll try to put that link down below. Tequila Matchmaker, I'll go to when I'm at the liquor store to be able to check certain brands. I'll sometimes go through and do research, find whatever brands I can find, make a short list so I can pick those up when I'm at the liquor store next time. So roasted agave, honeysuckle, bubblegum, hubba bubba. It smells, the bubblegum smells like when I was a kid and you had, what was it, tops? You had, uh, you had uh, baseball cards and the baseball cards when you open it would have a stick of gum. That's what it smells like. There's a, a balanced sort of sweetness that comes on the nose. I'll be interested to try this and see if that flavor uh, hits my tongue or not, or whether it just smells sweet. Kind of rich, uh, syrupy smell. Smooth. Um, that bubble gum cascading across my soft palate and then a blast of what i talk about as almost a numbing quality it almost reminds me of sichuan peppercorn kind of uh, on the roof of my mouth a little bit of my tongue um it's more sweet on the nose than it is on the palate uh, the flavor of it is not overly sweet Hmm. I think offhand, this is good. The, the bubblegum flavor, I'm trying to think about Mahenta. And Mahenta has certain notes that are like floral, um, that were a little more, like I talk about them being feminine. It has a slightly pink label. It's a little sweeter. I think for the Cimarron, this um, is not my favorite bottle. I think I, I don't like that bubblegum note as much, and it's just a matter of like me and my personal tastes. If you like that sweeter kind of note, that little bit of almost like bubblegum um, sweetness, a bubblegum machine, gumball machine, I think this is a good tequila for that. Um, I certainly, I don't have any issues with this. It's not like I have it and I'm like, oh. This tequila is beneath me. It's not like that at all. It's it's very good tequila. I just notice over time that I'm having certain uh, preferences for flavor profile, and I need to do more research about the tequila, how it's processed, harvested, roasted, autoclave, you know, this and that. Uh, whether it's uh, what is it, uh, Tahona? If it's Tahona crushed, like, has it changed the flavor profile? Yeah, that, that little bit of almost sweetness on the nose and the bubble gum in combination. Not super, super fanatical about. It's okay, but this is not my favorite. I don't remember what this bottle cost. I'm trying to think about what this would be like in uh, margaritas or ranch waters, uh, mixed drinks. I think if I had a lady friend who particularly enjoyed this bottle, that would probably be what I would use it for. Um, you can certainly have it as a sipping tequila. I don't think in any way is it, you know, it's a substandard or something like that. I think for me, the bubblegum note um, on my tongue is just not exactly where I want to go with the flavor profile, but it's just my personal bias.
So yeah, again, this is techelania.com at this point. Let me see if it was a different website. Yeah, it's techelania.com. You can check out the tequilas here. Let me know if there's any of these others that you specifically are interested in. May want me to maybe, well, I can't review that one. It's sold out. Let's see. Super, super interesting. I'll have to try more Añejos and Reposados over time to see if my opinions change about it. Though generally I would say that I'm more interested uh, in the Blancos. What is this? Huerta Singular. Interesting. So it's an unaged Blanco tequila of higher proof. Harvest yield agave of usually high quality. Interesting. Uh, super, super nice. I mean, this is the sort of stuff that makes me geek out because I just want to be able to go to the distillery and have little sip after little sip after little sip so I can taste, compare. Um, and you learn a lot very quickly uh, with that format as opposed to just reviewing one at a time. But you guys check it out. Again, if you're looking for something with a slightly sweeter nose, a little bit of bubblegum flavor, I highly recommend this. That being said, this is not my favorite bottle. I may wind up buying this again, uh, depending on the price. But who knows? And there are a million more Blanco tequilas to try out. See you guys again soon on Salud with Robert Gardner. Again, you can check them out at techelania.com. And I will see you guys again very, very soon. Thank you.